Hey guys, I'm in Dannemora, New York, and I'm here. I'm gonna be walking up to the prison where the infamous escape happened. The two inmates, Richard, Matt, and David Sweat escaped from. So we're gonna walk up to the prison, show you guys where that all happened. It's a very interesting story. So let's get into it. The two inmates who escaped the Clinton Correctional Facility were Richard Matt and David Sweat. Now some background information on both of these inmates. Richard Matt was born June 25th, 1966, and he was born and raised in a town called Tonawanda, New York. Now Richard was a career criminal. He has served different prison terms in the 1980s and 1990s for various crimes, including burglary, theft, sexual assault, etc. He upped his career in crime on December 3rd, 1997, when Richard and an accomplice named Lee Bates kidnapped a guy by the name of William Rickerson who actually was Richard's former boss. Now they attempted to extract money from him as they thought that he had a bunch of money laying around. So they assumed that he was wealthy and so they had tried to extract money from him. Richard and his friend drove to Ohio and back for more than 24 hours with William Rickerson in the trunk of the car, they would periodically stop the car and torture him. Eventually, they murdered him by breaking his neck and they dismembered his body. And on February 20th, 1998, while in a town in Mexico, Richard ended up murdering a second guy by the name of Charles Peralt, who was an American engineer working at a local factory down there. Richard tried to rob him and ended up stabbing him to death at a bar. Richard was finally arrested and given a 23-year sentence for murder in a Mexican courtroom. In 2007, he was extradited back to the U.S. to face trial for the other man's murder, where his friend testified against him and Richard received a 25 years to life sentence for second degree murder. And it says that he had no chance of parole until 2032. If you missed the last video, I talked about David Sweat and um, the murder that he committed and how he landed in prison to begin with. And so I kind of gave a little bit of background information on David Sweat in the previous video. Um, so make sure you watch that if you want. Uh, I'll leave a link to it at the end of this. David Sweat was born June 14th, 1980. Again, just like Richard Matt, uh, he was a pretty much a career criminal. He ended up stealing a bunch of cars, getting into drugs, planning different burglaries, etc. On July 4th, 2002, that is when he murdered a police officer. And that is when he ended up getting the life sentence in prison. They escaped the Clinton Correctional Facility, which again is in Dannemora, New York. It was on June 6th, 2015, both Richard and David were found to be unaccounted for during the 5.30 a.m. morning count. They had been last seen at the previous night count, which was at 10.30 p.m. They were able to tunnel their way out. You guys most likely know this whole story, but just to kind of give a recap, one of the prison workers, Joyce Mitchell, she ended up helping Richard Matt and David Sweat by doing different things, by giving them different tools. And these different tools were used in the escape and they were able to dig out of the prison cells they eventually made their way into a tunnel system and that tunnel system brought them out about, I think about like a, a half mile or so down the street from the prison. They were able to pop up out of a sewer grate. And later in this video, after we kind of go by the prison, I'm going to show you guys the sewer grate that they popped up out of. Eventually Joyce Mitchell 
was found to have helped both Richard and David. And so she, of course, immediately got arrested for, and she was charged um, with smuggling in different tools for them to escape. And there was even some suspicions and some rumors, if you will, that Joyce had a sexual relationship with either one or both of Richard and or David. Since they had a long criminal history, since they were both in prison for murder, as you can imagine, they were being hunted by thousands and thousands of different police officers, SWAT teams, etc. They had been spotted in Willsboro, New York on June 9th, so about three days after the escape. The authorities eventually spent June 9th and June 10th retracing their steps around Danamora expanded their search to the border with Vermont. Authorities, of course, at that time were thinking that Richard and David were most likely going to head up to Canada, considering the prison in Danamora is not terribly far away from the Canadian border. Both Richard and David were breaking into cabins, getting food, getting supplies, getting shelter, etc. They were staying together for a little while, but eventually Richard, Matt, and David Sweat parted and went their separate ways. And on June 26th, Richard Matt was spotted in Franklin County, New York, after he shot at a driver of a passing vehicle. And of course, when he shot at the car, that person called 911. SWAT teams, police, of course, descended on that area. Richard Matt was directed many times by Border Patrol to put down his weapon. And Richard did not listen to the directions. And he ended up getting shot and killed by three different gunshot wounds to the head. Now, only a few days later, June 28th, New York State Trooper named Sergeant Cook ended up passing David Sweat as he walked along the road. And as the trooper circled back to question him, David Sweat began running across a, a field. Uh, the trooper gave chase and ended up firing two rounds and ended up hitting David Sweat twice, once in his right shoulder and once in his left arm. He was finally captured and arrested. And where he was arrested at was about... 16 miles north of where Richard Matt was killed. So they technically weren't that far away from each other, even though they went on their separate ways. So they kind of ironically were sort of still in the, you know, the, the same area, give or take. He, of course, was brought back to prison. We learned later that Joyce was having discussions with people trying to have her husband Lyle killed in a potential murder for hire deal. And uh, I think in, in different interrogations, she mentioned that she had a plan with Richard Matt to where when they broke out of prison, she was supposed to meet up with them. And I think they would drive together to go murder Joyce's husband. But uh, for whatever reason, so they, they didn't go through with that original plan. I did attempt to try to find the exact location where Richard Matt was, was killed at, and I tried to find a location where David Sweat was hiding out. But uh, after searching in the woods for a while, I just, I couldn't find it. All right, after getting some nice information from a local here, she told me that the sewer grate that Richard Matt and David Sweat popped out of it's gonna be this one. Now what's crazy to me is that there is a, a tunnel system, of course, linked all the way to the prison. And again, it is roughly, I think, 500 yards, give or take, to the, the prison walls. But anyway, yeah, this is, this is the actual sewer grate that they popped out of. Pretty unbelievable if you think about it, how they were able to 
engineer the escape, make it happen. But again, it's on the corner of Book Street and Barker Street if you're here in the area. I'm gonna head out of here. It's been a long day. I'll see you guys on the next video. Until next time, my name is Harmon. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.